Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So my beautiful client Nikki has come in today and we're doing a fresh set of acrylic nails on her. She took her own nails off, that is just what she likes to do. She likes to, to soak her own nails off and come in for a fresh set. Um, yeah, so I've gone ahead, done all my usual prep work. I will leave a video in the description box of my prep method. If you want to go and check that out, you can do. Um, and then I've obviously applied primer, um, sorry, applied my forms and then primer to all five nails. And now I'm coming in with CJP Perfect Peach. This peach is it's like the perfect nude. It is so gorgeous. Um, I do use this a little bit wetter than usual because I find it dries a little bit quicker, but I just love the colour so much. So you can just see me building up the shape there and then coming in with my cuticle bead. So I'm placing that bead right at the cuticle area, kind of just wiggling it off my brush and then just kind of like teasing it into that cuticle area and like tickling it down using like the tip of my brush as a barrier, you know, the drill and then just blending that bead down. As you can see, the colour is just stunning. So then I'm going to come in with negligee. So negligee is like a sheer pink, um, it's like a sea transparent pink. And I'm just using this to cap that whole nail rather than me just build, build, build with that um, perfect peach. And also the glassy pink kind of gives it a more pink tone. So it kind of makes the nude look a little bit more natural, if that even makes sense, because I know nude is not natural. Um, but it just gives off like a more, um, like a glassy finish. It just makes the colour look gorgeous anyway. So that is why I'm doing it. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to just do the exact same thing on this ring finger. So I may as well just let you sit and watch this. Um, as you can see, I've just rigged my forms there so I can get that nice C curve with the form. But I am also going to pinch anyway. Um, this nail that I'm doing now, actually, she ripped off. Um, she, it was like a going back a, like nearly a year ago now that she she actually lost two of her nails. I don't know if some of you remember me saying on my channel. Um, she came in for a set once, and we were talking about how she'd had a she'd got attacked, and as she was defending herself, two of her nails got ripped off straight off from the root, and they're ugh. So I tend to keep this one because it's always been a bit grown back like really short I always tend to do this now a little bit shorter than the others But it's not not so it's noticeable, but just so it's obviously not uh, We definitely don't want any more damage coming on to any of the nails So yes, so I've rigged my form so I can get a nice C curve there and then I'm just playing with that acrylic making sure um, my, my application looks so crap. Sometimes I look at my application and think, yeah, it looks all right. And then today, watching this video back, it's just like, ugh. But, you know, it's not about how you get there. It's just getting there. Onto the middle finger and I'm just coming in now with CJP coconut milk and I'm just going to really make my cuticle area nice and neat. We're going to be doing a black and white marble. Now this is the first time I have ever done a black and white marble. Um, I was happy with how it turned out. The other nail came out better but now I know what to do next time to make it more seamless or just make it look less blocky so i've basically just picked up the black and white bead at the same time and then just placing it on the nail and moving it along and then kind of patting it and as you can see this just looks like one big <laughs> dirty black blob so at this point i was like oh my gosh that looks hideous but we just carried on, just adding a little bit more black, trying to make it a little bit more smoky, then picking up another bead with the, dipping into the white and then just dipping it into the black. 
and then just trying to build the shape of that nail as well. So by this time I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell am I going to do now? But I just kept working with it. So you'll just see me fanning around trying to pat that product now into place to create that rough shape. Okay, finally. So then I'm just coming in with the black again, just kind of smudging it down. I was a bit like, oh my gosh. So I'm then just going to come back in with that coconut milk and just come along just to like soften and diffuse some of that block blockiness. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more black up by the cuticle area. And I'm using it really wet and then just kind of diffusing that with the monomer in my brush so I did this on the other the other hand the same method but I just diffused the black a lot more with my monomer so it kind of looked more grey and smoky than it did black but I was still really really happy with how these turned out the final result was absolutely stunning so I was really pleased I'm just going to keep going back in with the white and the black to try and make it look more like um the marble and you know no marbles are the same no two are the same so and my client absolutely loved them, so I suppose that's all that matters. So there you can see me just adding a little bit more, and then I've kind of diffused that big black block that we had there. I'm just going to come back in again. So I was quite happy with that now. That's where I'm just going to ask my client to take a look, see what she feels, and then we're going to cap that nail in crystal glass. And this is now where I'm going to be building the strength and obviously the apex and stuff like that. So the index and the thorn were both just a full nail of perfect peach. I haven't recorded the thorn, I just didn't see there was any point because it was just plain again that I've done on the last other two, the first two nails on this one. So I'll just leave you to watch this and then I'll come back when I need to. So my final routine now is I'm taking my hand file, I'm going to go on do the side walls and then I would go along the free edge and then I will go up towards the cuticle area, go around the cuticle area and then just go down the whole body of the nail. But definitely do not file away your apex. So just angle your file up 90 degrees when you're going around that cuticle area so you don't take away that apex that you've just worked really, really hard to build. So just going to keep turning that hand around as well, checking it from her view, making sure it looks good. 
And then I'll just really, really smooth that nail over with this file, make sure it's all uniform. There's no like harsh kind of lines or dips or ridges in the nails. And then once I'm done with all of the nails, I'll come back in and buff over with a white buffing block. So there's the nails once they're all filed. And now I'm coming in with the gel bottle ink and this is their rose gold from their autumn collection and it is absolutely stunning. It's like, it reminds me of the Vitro gels, you know, the gold leaf that they do and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm using that on her pinky finger and her index. I just want to drop in as well that these nails were actually inspired by another nail artist off Instagram. I and her um Instagram nails is <laughs> Instagram name is Nails on Point. Um, I think I'll leave it in the description box anyway. So these were fully inspired by her. So yeah, once I'm done with that, I'm then just gonna take a back of the form, back of the nail form, and my Barber Two stripe. Um, is it like a liner brush? detail brush from crystal nails and then i'm just going to add some of that rose gold into that marble just to really like tie the whole design in together and again just kind of like diffuse some of the black and then i'll cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds and then i will just give it another little coat but i didn't bother recording that because i just didn't did see if there was any point because the video is dragging on Because I've used the gel bottle gels there, I'm going to come in with the gel bottle extreme shine top coat and I'm just going to top coat all of the nails using this and then I'll cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds. I did record me um, top coating the other marble nail as well so you could see that one because I think that one looked better. Um, and then I have left a clip at the end. Obviously, I will go in with cuticle oil and I did apply some rose gold Swarovski crystals around the ring finger. In fact, I'm pretty sure I recorded that as well. We am sure we will find out in a minute. Just getting rid of that thing that was on the nail there. It's always something stuck on the nail when you use gel. So there's the thumb, just a plain nude... Perfect peach is just so perfect. And then just wiping the side of the nails there so that gel doesn't seep and ruin that shape. And then just taking it with the hand. And this is the other marble nail. So yeah, you can see how the lines on here look a lot more diffused and more like marbly and not such blocky. Yes, and here we go. So I'm coming in with the gel bot gel bottle clear sculpting gel. It's the gel pot um clear. And I am going to stick that around the cuticle area and apply some rose gold Swarovski crystals. They are from Crystal Parade. And I do have a discount code for Crystal Parade. Um, it's Liz5. Um, and I do not get any commission from that. I'm not paid to advertise that. It's just literally a cheeky little discount for you if you want to use it. So it's always in the description box if you need it. Along with any other codes that I do have are in the description box as well. And yeah, then I've left a little clip at the end for you to see the final result. I hope you loved this set as much as I loved doing them. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you all for your support as always. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. And hit that notification bell so you never miss a video when I upload. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all again in my next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>